Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hum, ajay, hey, kaise, hey, up. And today we're going to be reacting to some news that came out from Bharat Talk channel. And, um, and they talk about this is the difference between Pakistan and India. Yeah. So we know it's about the coronavirus that's been going on in China. And um, we know that India has brought some of its people back home to treat them. And um, we also know some of the flights here have been canceled to China. Not only did Trump say that, but I know um, Daddy's work has also put a ban on traveling to and from China and in, in and around China as well. So it's we know this is serious. This has been all over the news. Yeah. Anji says her friends have been talking about it at lunchtime. Um, probably not the best time to talk about sickness, <laughs> but um, it's something that's been all over the news. So, but this was brought to our attention, and um, we just thought we should react to it. So, are you ready? Yeah. Corona virus के चलते चीन के वुहान में फंसे भारतीयों को एयरलिफ्ट करने के लिए एयर इंडिया लगातार काम कर रही है और लगातार भारतीयों को चीन से वापस भी ला रही है और अब दूसरी एयरलिफ्ट में एयर इंडिया ने मानो था कि मिसाल पेश की जिससे कि उसकी पूरी दुनिया में तारीफ की जा रही है चीन के वुहान शहर से भारतीयों को एयरलिफ्ट करने गई एयर इंडिया ने तीन भारतीयों समेत सात मालदीव के नागरिकों को भी एयरलिफ्ट किया और एक ऐसी नजीर पेश की जो काबिल तारीफ है मालदीव ने उसके नागरिकों को चीन से सुरक्षित भारत लाने के लिए एयर इंडिया का आभार जताया है मालदीव के विदेश मंत्री अब्दुल्ला शाहिद ने कहा की वुहान में सात मालदीव नागरिक एयर इंडिया की विशेष उन्हें दिल्ली में ही इलाज के लिए एक निश्चित अवधि तक रखा जाएगा नरेंद्र मोदी और विदेश मंत्री डॉक्टर जयशंकर का आभार प्रकट करता हूँ एयर इंडिया की दूसरी उड़ान थी जिसने कुल तीन सौ तीस लोगो को भारत वापस लाने में अपनी महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका अदा की इससे पहले की फ्लाइट में चीन के वुहान शहर से कुल तीन सौ चौबीस भारतीयों की वापसी हुई है इससे पहले की फ्लाइट में चीन के वुहान शहर से कुल तीन सौ चौबीस भारतीयों को वापस लाया गया था जिन्हें सेना और आईटीबीपी के आइसोलेशन yeah, सेंटर पर रखा गया है इन लोगों yeah, को चौदह like दिनों तक डॉक्टरों की निगरानी sure. में रखा जाएगा yeah. लाए गए यात्रियों में 211 सौ ग्यारह छात्र है एक सौ दस नौकरी पेशा लोग हैं और तीन नाबालिग इलाके में आई टी बी पी के विशेष सुविधा केंद्र में रखा गया है जहाँ एक तरफ भारत लगातार अपने देश के लोगों को चीन के वुहान से वापस भारत ला रहा है सिर्फ अपने ही देश के नहीं बल्कि दूसरे देशों की भी वो लगातार मदद कर रहा है वहीं yeah. दूसरी तरफ And पड़ोसी पाकिस्तान ने वहां पर फंसे yeah. अपने देश Pakistan's के लोगों को वापस लाने से इनकार कर दिया वुहान में कई पाकिस्तानी छात्र लेकिन इमरान सरकार ने उन्हें वापस लाने का कोई फैसला नहीं किया पाकिस्तान के स्वास्थ्य मंत्री ने चीन ऐसी ना लाने का फैसला करते हुए कहा है कि अगर हम लोगों को वहाँ ऐसी निकालने का गैर जिम्मेदाराना काम करते हैं तो यह वायरस जंगल में लगे इतना ही नहीं पाकिस्तान ने तो That's चीन crazy. जाने और वहां से आने वाली सभी फ्लाइट्स पर दो फरवरी तक के लिए रोक भी लगा दी लेकिन इमरान खान सरकार के कान में जो yeah. भी नहीं रेंग रही so रिपोर्ट yeah. And so they can go back home. Be home. Yeah. Yeah, such a big difference between yeah. India and Pakistan. You know, we've seen it in that other video with the kids. Yeah, that was like upsetting. Like you're teaching the new generation to do terrorism. You're teaching them like hatred. Hatred. Yeah. Not even terrorism. You're teaching mm -hmm. hatred to the children 
and using it as propaganda to teach more hatred. Because the children are just like, let's eat beef or like meat in front of the border. It's like, what's that doing to your country? Yeah. What's that doing good? It's not doing anything. And then India's like, Okay, if you want to come over here, we'll treat you like gods and we'll feed you first. Right. Like, there is a big difference. Yes. But it's how they um, how they teach the new generation to do stuff. So it's right. not the new generation's fault. It's the people who are teaching the new right. generation. And if you're teaching terrorism and you're harboring terrorists, eventually they're going to turn around on you as well. Yeah. So... If you're teaching love and compassion, then that's how you grow. That's how India has become. It's always been, I think, a welcoming nation, but it, yeah. it's just become such such loving compassion, um, you know. And then to to open up the flights just to get their people back and take others from another country back. And then to keep help an them. eye on them, make sure they're safe, making sure like they don't right. have the virus and not are spreading it. Right. So they're still kind of quarantining them for a couple of weeks to make sure they're not spreading the virus. But making but sure that they can help them. Yes. And if they have the virus, they're gonna help them. Yeah. And at least they'll be home. Like if you were sick don't you want to be at home? You want With your, your mother to take care of you? And then yeah. Pakistan's just like, okay, we don't want the virus, so we're going to let you die in China. And it's like, why are you doing that to your own people? Like, your own people are supposed to be your brothers, your family. Right. And, and you're just asking for They're asking to just to go home. home. Yeah. It's just so sad to see, you know. And, and I know they're friends with China, because we know, like, Trump put a ban on the flights, and then Pakistan yeah. reopened their flights, but not to take their people back. No. You know, and we know that they've been taking women from, like, from Pakistan has been giving them China women, and they've been, you know, hoping, I think, to get their word in at the UN on Kashmir. I think that's their pull. I don't know. This, though, like, to have a minister say, like, the Quran says, if you are somewhere where you have a disease, you stay there, and that's where you die. Like, really? What about his family? Like, if that were him, that statement he just made would be totally different. Right. If, if he was understood, was there, if it was his actual family, mom. which the whole country should be your family. Exactly. But if it was your actual family family, really close to you, he would probably have changed his statement differently. That would have mm -hmm. not been the statement he would have made. Right. Well, that would have been different. Yeah, it definitely, you can see the compassion and the love from India's side. And for everybody, like, they're, yeah. they're even taking in other country people to help them because they couldn't do it in their own country. Like, I, I just feel like there's always so much compassion. And, um, you know, we want to pray and you know, every day that hopefully the virus gets better or um, a cure, something that kind of hopefully stops and people are safe again and we're saddened that people have to lose their lives for this, but hopefully yeah. it will get better. Um, but this really just shows the difference between India and China. And we know, you know, China, I think, has become a little bit of... Um, puppet masters of Pakistan yeah you know we say this and you do that we say this you do that um where it's it, like oh what do you want me to do I'll do anything I'll do anything yeah it's definitely pulling strings that's what the the Chinese puppet masters is what I think I'm going to start calling them because mm -hmm. they definitely have Pakistan jumping they definitely hoops. have control over them yeah yeah and they're doing whatever they think will be in their favor so in hopes that they will uh help their hatred towards India and get Kashmir. I'm not really sure, but, no. um... Like, there's really no point in it. Yeah. But Prime Minister Modi, Jay Shankar are doing a great job bringing yeah. home their people and making sure everybody else isn't getting it, but also making sure that that their loved ones and other are people's safe. loved ones are safe and home if they're sick and... Yeah. Hopefully they can be home. Yeah. Um, in India. 
So I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Jay Hind!